All right, well, those triple digits are headed our way, and Candy Casares has been keeping an eye on them. She's joining us now with a look outside with our weather at the Pinpoint Weather Forecast Center. Hey, Candy. Hi, Christian. Happy Monday, everyone. Let's talk about those temperatures. And as you can see, let me take you outside and looking uh, very clear in downtown Bakersfield. Yes, we were in the low 90s, 91 right now. Humidity is at 13% and winter coming in from the northwest at 10 miles per hour. And visibility is pretty good. Around Kern County in the upper 80s right now, 88 in Delano, 88 in Button Willow, only 66 in Pine Mountain Club, 72 in Fresher Park and 82 out in Mojave. Today we hit 91. We should be around 86 this time of year. And look at that record. 107 said back in 1904, we were very lucky today. We were nowhere near there, but trust me, those triple digits are coming. Sunset tonight will be at 8 p.m. So we want to talk about what's going to happen in the next two days and what you need to be aware of. There is going to be a heat advisory on Wednesday from 7 a.m. till 11 p.m. that day. That is the reason why is because it's going to be very, very hot. Temperatures anywhere from 103 to 105 in many parts of Kern County. You can see here even parts of Lake Sabella will continue under that heat advisory and that extends pretty much all, all across the Central Valley. In fact, to the north of us, near Sacramento, there is a um, red flag warning because the high temperatures with the low humidity is just a bad combination for uh, fire danger. So once again, we need to remind you because it's been a very nice uh, month of May, a lot of many days with temperatures below average, but that is going to change as we head into Wednesday. So our bodies, we have to be mentally and physically ready to deal with a triple digit. So once again, stay hydrated and uh, limit your outdoor activities. And yes, protect your skin. Use sunscreen, especially if you're spending um, hours at working outdoors. So use sunscreen and use a big hat. So let's talk about what's happening in the atmosphere. You can see that we have that ridge of high pressure that is building over the state. And it's going to get closer by Wednesday. It's going to be right over us, which means it's going to be the hottest day of the week. The peak in temperatures by Thursday, that is changing. And that system will start sliding out and that will allow for cooler temperatures to arrive just in time for the weekend for that long holiday week and the many of us already have big plans for so Memorial Day holidays looking very nice with temperatures in the upper 80s across Kern County so meanwhile tomorrow is going to be even hotter than today so once again yes hyd hydrate 98 for Fresno triple digits already in Sacramento uh, in the only way to beat the heat is by going to the coast temperatures in the upper 60s in Morro Bay or Pismo and then mid 70s across uh, Los Angeles and San Diego area meanwhile air quality will be moderate with an AQI of 93 and tonight clear skies across the valley floor temperatures in the upper 50s low 60s in some areas even upper 60s in some locations and then the winds are going to be light out of the northwest at five miles per hour let me take you to the mountains in the current river valley overnight lows in the upper 50s low 60s and tomorrow 91 for Lake Sabella even to 77 in Pine Monte Club which is usually much cooler and out in the desert overnight lows in the upper 50s and tomorrow mid 90s in some locations so here's a look at your 7-day forecast. Watch out for Wednesday. The real heat is coming. 103. Uh, it's forecasts uh, for Wednesday and then we begin that cool down. Temperatures will be back in the upper 80s as we head into the weekend and the holiday weekend is looking very, very nice. Up in the hatch will be 88 on Wednesday and then cooling back to the lower 70s as we head into the weekend. And Lake Sabella, 98 on Wednesday, cooling down to the lower 80s for Saturday and Sunday. Jim Christian.